apologize. I've been uh, fighting a head cold, which might be allergies. Never really had allergies before. Uh, around 2008, I had a cold for like three weeks and went to the doctor finally, and they told me uh, sounds like you have allergies. I'm like well, I've never had allergies, so I started taking allergy medicine, and it worked. So this year, for some reason, I went to bed one night, woke up the next morning, and I was so stuffed up. So I started taking some allergy medicine, and I'm starting to feel better. But uh, anyway, kind of excited right now. Uh, headed to the taxidermist to pick up my bear from last year. Uh, got this bear in northern Quebec. Uh, it was an awesome trip. Uh, great outfitter. It was my first bear hunt out of the state of Pennsylvania. Uh, I've been hunting bear for, well, probably like 2005, somewhere around there, 2006, I think. I, I started to, you know, attempt to hunt bear a little bit more seriously. And uh, mostly with the bow, but Pennsylvania is difficult for bear hunting. Uh, if you hunt here, you know if it's an area that contains bear, then more likely uh, it's going to look like the pumpkin patch I've talked about before. There's just guys everywhere, and you're basically just waiting for a bear to run by. And that's the rifle season. So uh, I try to hunt the archery season, and uh, I do a lot of walking around. And I can't say I'm taking it 100% seriously. There are bear here. There's a lot of bear in PA. It's just uh, last few years it's been kind of difficult to do. Uh, once again, I'm usually hunting by myself, which is no big deal. But uh, I've had a lot going on with working on the camp and you know stuff like that. So uh, I haven't, you know, go out for a few hours in the morning, walk around, see what I can see. But I've never really uh, scouted a whole lot and did you know a lot of preparation. But yeah, when I had the opportunity to go to Northern Quebec to hunt bear, I was super excited. Uh, you know, we planned for it for almost a year. And, uh, you know, did a lot of practicing and whatever. And it was the first time I ever hunted over bait, which I was a little skeptical about at first. But I have to tell you, there's, there's not a whole lot of, uh, there's not a lot of different ways to do it up there because it is so thick. Uh, it, it, it'd be impossible to, to spot and stalk a bear in the, as thick as it is. So you would never see them. So there are some open areas, but uh, they said that typically you're not going to catch the bear in the open areas. They're, uh, you know, be very difficult to, to hunt. And there are so many bear. I, I can't get over the numbers of bear we saw. Uh, I alone, my hunt was done in about 15 minutes. So I wasn't in the stand very long. But uh, other guys have set up some trail cameras. I did sit a stand another night just to... Uh, Try to take some pictures see what i saw i saw a few bear but uh everybody tagged down everybody had opportunities to shoot uh and so it was an incredible experience so i i did like i said it took me about 15 minutes i wasn't going to stay very long i i kept telling myself i'm going to wait for a big guy i'm going to wait for a big guy but uh i ended up having a real nice bear come in uh beautiful beautiful coat i could tell it was a little you know more mature bear so uh checked to make sure there was no cubs i waited for a while watching no cubs came in she wasn't vocal at all so i know she wasn't communicating with anybody meeting cubs uh so uh yeah i just let it fly she went uh probably 20 yards and uh yeah it was it's been a while since i've had uh buck fever so i i don't know if everybody knows what buck fever is but it's typically uh target panic or what there's different people call it different things but uh we, we've always talked to, talked about it as buck fever but uh it's when you uh see that animal and you know you're going to attempt to take a shot and you start getting the shakes and everything else but uh yeah i haven't had that in a long time so it was the first time that i've had it in a while and it was quite exciting you know uh it was a good time so i'm on my way down to the taxidermist now and uh he says the bear's all done so i'm gonna go uh, pick it up and see what it is once again i apologize I, I'm, I'm sick i'm all congested uh 
my brain feels like someone's stepping on my head right now but uh gotta do what i gotta do it sucks because it's a beautiful day it's like 70 degrees out take exit 45 toward pennsylvania 980 cannonsburg the gps is talking to me so uh but anyway i'll check back in when we get there thanks guys hey just pulled in we're here at bear's den taxidermy here in finleyville pennsylvania this little setup closed for today i'm special no i'm really not sick as a dog let's go and take a look go take a look see what's going on look at that What's up, Bill? What do you say, Lou? Looking good, looking good. What do you think? Looks all right, huh? Looks all right. Yeah, she uh, turned out real nice. Not bad got, for... Yeah, it's got a real nice coat thing. on it, you know? And uh, the unique thing, obviously, is the chest. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. So and, that's uh, one of the reasons, like I said earlier in the video, I was uh, going to hold out for a big old bear, but this, this guy came in and... Uh, yeah, I wasn't going to pass that up. I wouldn't have passed that up either. Uh, you know. Beautiful, beautiful yeah. bear. Yeah, yeah, he turned out nice. Got, awesome. Wow, got, look at that. Hang yeah, nice three-quarter mount shows everything off. So, yep, looks really good. Turned out nice. And, uh, cool. It'll look great on the wall. Yes, it will. Going real nice. Something else to make the wife pissed off. But what are you going to do? Yeah. Anyway, man, you got a lot of projects going on here. Yeah, so. we're pretty busy here, and uh, got a little bit of there. everything going. Uh, just uh, start my deer and stuff. I'm doing a lot of repairs, obviously. Oh, uh, it's a repair here. What happened here? Uh, it fell off the wall. Um, it's a customer of mine from Ohio, and uh, he has no idea what happened. He went there one weekend and it was laying on the floor, and that's what happened. So, uh, casted a reproduction nose and going to put a. Uh, reproduction nose on it and that's awesome yeah it, how long you been doing this uh 15 years now 15 years yeah 15 and, uh, years i said before it's bears den taxidermy where are yeah. we at uh this is finleyville pennsylvania and uh i uh i did it for a long time part time and uh i decided to uh jump into it full time and uh it's worked out well it's worked out well that's uh, cool. No, no complaints. Uh, got got you know, there. some really good customers that bring me stuff every year. And keeps me keeps me busy and out of trouble. Cool. How do people get a hold of you? Um, I have a website and uh, it's under uh, Bears Den Taxidermy, and um, and I'm also on uh, YouTube. And, uh, you can look it up. Awesome. Awesome. So many cool animals around here. Yeah, a lot, of, a lot of stuff here. Uh, some of it's customers, some of it's friends. When when I first started, uh, I didn't have a lot to show people. And uh, I kind of put the word out to friends and relatives if they shot something. And, you know, it was a nice specimen that, you know, I would mount it and keep it in here. And, uh, you know, let people see different mounts and stuff oh, like that. Over there. One thing led to another. And here I am. You know, how many bear do you think you do a year? Uh, this year I will probably do in the neighborhoods of between 15 and 18. Uh, most of those are full mont, three quarter mont. Right. How many deer you got so far this year? I, I took in 107 deer this year. This was uh, seven deer. Yeah, really good, really good year for for deer. Uh, not only the quantity, uh, the quality of the deer were there yeah, this year. Yeah, there's some nice looking white tail yeah. up there. Yeah, was, uh, the quality of the deer were really, really nice this year. I got one up there somewhere. And uh, yeah, every, everything's been good. All my, my western stuff, the elk, the antelope, they all, you know, it's just been a good year. You know, cool. I got, I uh, had four guys that went to Africa and uh, I got all their Africa stuff to do. So. It's so uh, it keeps me busy. Everything, then. yeah, 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 keeps me busy. Keeps me busy. What is this guy up there in the corner? Uh, the black and white one, yes, that is a black buck. Black buck, okay, mm -hmm. that is a black buck. And then the one to the right is a um, roe deer. I shot that in uh, England, that's oh. one of mine. So, 
Yeah, some of the stuff on the wall is mine, but... Oh, still, one of my all favorite mounts is this guy right here. <laughs> Look at that. Open up a cold one. That's it. But... That's it. Cool. All right, man. Well, I appreciate it. We're gonna no problem. Yep. We'll take care of this bear. Dusted and, uh, them all off. I mean, he, he's been, you know he's dry, but he's been sitting here, and so I blew the dust off him. And cool. He, he turned out really nice. Look, it'll look really good on the wall. Wonderful. All right, guys. Thanks again. I appreciate it. Till next time. Hey guys, I'm Lou Rosito with Getting Lost. I just wanted to take a second and say thank you very much for taking the time to watch my um, not so great video. I'm working on it, I promise. I, I hope to continue to make uh, the quality of the video a little better and come up with some cool content and keep uh, pumping out videos, uh, hopefully at least twice a week. Uh, it's been a little rough right now because I am still living in Pittsburgh. Uh, the house is in shambles. We got everything you know, almost packed up and ready to go. Hopefully I'll be out there by late summer. Uh, but anyway, please take a second and subscribe to my YouTube page, uh, Get Lost. Also, check me out on Instagram and Facebook. Both of those are still getting lost. And uh, my website, uh, getlost.com. I have a bunch of cool content. Uh, all the reviews, all the videos are going to be on there. And uh, if you have any questions, uh, any recommendations, uh, please contact me, lou at getlost.com. Thanks very much.